They're looking very muddy indeed. Well, Singapore has held its first world-level competition for swimmers with a disability. Almost 200 athletes from 26 countries competed in the Paris Swimming World Series. And among them, Sophie Pascoe, a 26-year-old from New Zealand who broke three world records and won four gold medals. And it's been such an incredible journey for Sophie, whose leg was amputated below the knee when she was just two years old. Well, I'm pleased to say she joins me now here in the studio. Sophie, how amazing is that? I mean, three world records, uh, yet more goals. How do you feel? I'm a little bit overwhelmed, actually. It's... Um I didn't expect to be swimming this fast early on in the season and uh, not really in my peak uh, zone at the moment either. So I'm just ecstatic with obviously the um, event and how I've swum this weekend. That's right. You said you didn't get to sleep overnight either, <laughs> you know, ahead of it. And you've, you've, you know, you've got lots more ahead of you in terms of training. But of course, uh, everyone's watching, including yourself, of course, uh, Tokyo 2020 and the Paralympics there. How are you preparing for it? Uh, well, obviously, we're tracking really well at the moment, uh, but we've got a big training block coming up, which is our going towards our nationals uh, in five weeks' time and at home in Auckland. And then uh, we have World Championships later this year being held back at the London Aquatic Centre, uh, which obviously I had a great games there in 2012. So it'd be good to go back there. And that's actually our qualifying for Tokyo next year. So this year has to be a really good year setting ourselves up for next year in Tokyo. Right. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about your accident, because you lost your uh, lower left leg in a lawnmower um, accident when you, you were just two and a half years old. Tell us how that's changed your life and, and what kind of lessons you can sort of uh, give others who are facing similar sort of accidents. Well, for me, it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. I'm, I mean, I can't really look back and say, you know, what if... Uh, the accident never happened. Uh, you know, I was two and a half years of age. Accidents happen everywhere around the world, whether it involves family members or not. And uh, for me personally, it's, uh, it has been a really great blessing for m my family. And we've, uh, I've been treated the same as my eldest sister, been brought up like her. So nothing's ever really been a barrier for me. And, and now they get to travel around the world and, uh, you know, watch their daughter swim in world championships and Paralympic Games. And to change an image from what they saw um, of that day uh, and I get to change an image uh, for them nowadays into a world champion is, is pretty humbling for me yeah. and it's a pretty proud feeling to know that I'm a proud daughter but you know they're proud parents as well. Yeah and, and so inspiring for others to hear as well Sophie. Now um, obviously it, it's, it's really fascinating that this is something that uh, you are very, very keen on. But we know that New Zealand is a country that uh, excels in uh, sporting success. And you are one of the most decorated, if not the most decorated athlete there. Uh, we seem to breed great athletes, <laughs> which is amazing for New Zealand. You know, we are a small country, but uh, gosh, we have a big heart in sport. And uh, you know, we have some great talented athletes and they just keep coming through, which is the incredible thing about New Zealand. And I'm proud, you know, I'm just one proud athlete um, in New Zealand and knowing that you know, we are taking on the world uh, with our talent. It's been amazing to have you on the program. Thank you so much for coming on and, and talking about your amazing success. Sophie Pascoe there.